Hi, welcome back. Today I'd like to spend a few minutes and talk about this idea that I quite like that hopefully you will like to do too. And the idea is keeping the hands on center. Now you're gonna say next video and you're gonna bounce. But I encourage you to stick around for this one because it's really nefariously interesting. So what happens is people play their chi sao or their wing chun or whatever, they're doing, doing their chi sao like this. And what happens is their punch ends up coming around the corner, like a cross, like a boxer's cross, instead of up the center. So what I want to do is, is offer you a challenge. Play your chi sao and watch and tell me how many times you end up punching not on center. You punch to the center, but that's different than having your punch go up center like in Siolam Tao. Now the trick is this is really, really a tough thing to do and many Wing Chuns forget to do it because the other person's punching them. There's, there's an emergency or there's some challenge. So they forget to do it. But if you really try to do it, it will change how you engage, how you uh, perceive your Wing Chun. I'm going to borrow Chris here for this because it's pretty interesting. So we've got this Chi Sao thing we're doing. And then what I want to do is I want to punch him. So I do my punch. This goes up center and he's going to block it. And then the next thing I do, because he blocked it, next thing I do, let's move this way. Next thing I do is I punch from the outside because the center is not open. And then I do this and I try to punch and he blocks it. And there's the block. And now this one comes from the outside because his hands are on center. So what we want to do is play this in a way that our punch goes right up center. And then he blocks. Okay, now he's occupied center here. The only way that I can punch on center, because if he's blocked it, is to take a new line. There it is. And my hand can go right up center again. He blocks that. Okay, I've got some control here. And I can punch up center. So all my punches... When I play Chi Sao, thanks Chris, all my punches when I play Chi Sao come right up the middle. Not from the side, not from the side. So this is really, really a great exercise and super, super tough to do. I'm going to borrow Chris again. Let's just do some kind of like more normal Gorsawi kind of stuff. So, I need to have control of these if I'm going to punch up center. Very interesting. Oh, this side again, huh? Okay. Oops. He put that on center. I need to change my angle. So, this is the game. Now, oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. But all the punches come up center. It gives a kind of interesting look to your chi sao because yeah, try not to miss. Because now your hands are firing straight up the middle. Oops, camera angle. <laughs> your hands are firing straight up the middle. And it really gives an interesting look, an interesting flavor to your to your Wing Chun. Thanks, Chris. And, and what it'll look like if the other person is moving their hands or punching across the line like this, what it'll look like is like you're punching in between the blades. I know I mentioned this before, but I quite like this analogy. The old style, um, 
the old style planes that had a propeller and a, and a gun. Do, 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 and they would shoot. And how they, they, they did it so that you didn't shoot the propeller off is they timed the bullet with the propeller. Propeller would go by, bullet would go. Propeller would go by, bullet would go. And this is how I want your cheese out to feel, is that you can put a fist in there, and then they might punch that way, and you take a line and you put a fist in there, and you see all these hands doing this, and you're just putting bullets in, in between those. Really great training method. You'll have lots of fun with it, but uh, play a little bit and see and see what pops and see how it grows or uh, inspires your your Wing Chun to to change in this direction. Actually, as a point of clarification, when people flare, flail their hands, it's not caused exactly by a lack uh, a loss of balance. It's caused by a surprise loss of balance. Because if people lose their balance and they're kind of not surprised by it, they'll just step back. It happens when, they, when they're caught by it, when they're surprised by it, then their hands take over. So a little, little bit of a clarification on that one. That's all I wanted to say about the punching on the center line for this episode. Once again, I thank you all for watching. I look forward to seeing you again. Uh, until then, bye for now.